wardrobe. <clears throat> oh my god, I'm a, I almost just lost my voice. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm doing another installment of my weekly wish list or washout series. Sorry if my voice seems a little weak. I I really hope I'm not getting sick, but it sounds like I might be getting sick, so my voice might be going in and out throughout this video. If you haven't seen this series before, basically what I do is go through all of the new beauty releases for the past week or two and decide whether I'm going to put them on my wish list or whether I think they are a total washout. We have plenty to talk about this week because I missed last week's video. I'm thinking about doing this every two weeks. Since I do Monday, Wednesday, Friday uploads, I think it might be a little much to do them every Wednesday, but let me know down below. Do you want to see these every week or do you want to see them every other week? So as I missed last week, we have tons and tons to talk about this week. So before we jump into the video, don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like weekly wish lists or washouts. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video. So let's jump into this. The first thing I'm going to talk about today is the new KKW and Mario palette. I don't need this. Honestly, I don't think anybody needs this. If you look at this and you're like enthralled and you want it, just pick up a single blue eyeshadow. Because if you cover up that blue eyeshadow, it's a neutral warm palette and it's boring. Go ahead. I'll throw up a picture where like the blue is covered up or one of the other shades. It's boring. You really don't need this. I don't know how much it's going to cost. I'm sure it's going to be expensive because it's KKW. But it's just, the only thing that interests me is the blue, and I, I can buy a single blue shadow, so I really don't need this. I'm not interested in the collection. I think they have like a lipstick and some like lip glosses. Personally, I won't be buying anything from this collection. Urban Decay is coming out with a new like summer collection. They've got some eyeliners, some lipsticks, some bronzers, and an eyeshadow palette. The eyeshadow palette has the same problem as the KKW palette, where it's just a random neutral palette with one blue pop of color in there. You really don't need it. Like, it's just the one blue pop that's actually, like, drawing you in, making you look at the palette differently. You don't need it. Just buy a blue single and add it to your collection. The eyeliners just look okay. One's, like, a warm copper. The other one's a yellow. I might be interested in the yellow one. I won't rule that one out. I do love yellow eyeshadow and yellow liners. All the lipsticks look boring. There's one red, one like copper, and then one nude. Nothing new there. Um, the bronzers, I mean, they're bronzers. There's nothing new really there. The packaging is stunning, of course, but it's not enough to get me interested in the actual product. Ooh, Fenty is coming out with like a new like body highlighter bronzer kind of thing and it has like a big poof that comes with it i'm not interested in like body highlight um but that big poof if, if there's a powder highlight in here and there's a big like pom pom yeah it says the fairy bomb is packed with shimmer inside i might get that one because that one looks stunning but the liquid ones i really don't have any interest in because i don't really ever wear liquid highlighter especially like on my body like I don't know where like the average person would really use like a body highlighter other than like in the summer if you're going to the beach but then again if you're going to the beach it's gonna just wash right off so yeah it cosmetics is coming out with a new product the bye bye pores pressed bronzer and blush i really don't know how a bronzer can help hide your pores but and they're also calling it a pressed bronzer and blush i don't know oh wait oh it might be a bronzer and brush i might just suck at reading i have no idea is it a blush or is it a brush coming with it i'm sorry i suck at this but i'm just not interested in this i feel like they're coming out with the bye bye pores everything even when something doesn't really need to be bye bye pores like a bronzer <sighs> nevertheless i don't know what the shade range on this is i know it cosmetics sucks when it comes to shade ranges so i don't even know if they're gonna have like a great range of shades for this product overall not interested will not be picking it up something i really do want to pick up and i'm super excited for when it releases i think this friday there's a new lip kit 
from Kylie Cosmetics and she's coming out with like an olive green lipstick. Like it's a, it's like a deep olive green and I'm so excited for it. I'll go ahead and throw the picture up right here. But it looks stunning. The rest of the shades that she's coming out with are kind of boring, but that one, I need that shade. <laughs> I need it. So I will be picking that up. I'm going to try to get on like right when it gets released on Friday and grab it. It looks like MAC is coming out with the second part of their collaboration with Patrick Star and it looks beautiful like the packaging is stunning i love like the, the pink petals it's beautiful i don't think i'm really interested in any of the products other than the eyeshadow palette it's got some pink some purples there's a quad i really want the quad it's small it's got a pink a purple a brown and like a light pink I would like to grab that one. I'm not sure about the rest of the collection at this point. Since the rest of the collection seems to be a little bit, you know, boring. Um, they have some split plans. It looks like some like bronzer and blush kind of things. The only thing I'm interested in are like the little quads. There's the purple one and there's like a pink blue one. The pink blue one would be stunning too. So I might be picking up one of the eyeshadow palettes. The rest is probably going to be a hard pass. ColourPop just extended the shade range of their concealer line and I've actually already picked up a couple of these shades. I picked up the plain white shade. I have a lightener for my foundations and I think it would be nice to have a lightener for my concealer as well. So I got the plain white shade and then I also got shade 10 and shade 16. So I'm waiting for that package to come in. I've never tried to ColourPop um, concealers before because I I heard mixed reviews and I saw that it like really oxidized on some people so I was waiting for you know more shades to become available so I could really kind of pick from a spectrum and see what would work best for me and I do like that they included the plain white shade so you can mix it in and kind of make your perfect shade no matter what. I placed that order a couple of days ago and it just shipped yesterday so I should hopefully get it by the end of the week but once I get it I will definitely mention it and tell you my thoughts about the concealer. The last thing I will talk about today are all of the new pressed powder shadows that ColourPop is coming out with. They have a whole new spring collection aside from like that butterfly collection we already talked about. They have a bunch of like single pressed eyeshadows and they have a full satin lip collection they're coming out with. All the satin lips look kind of boring, just kind of like, oh look it's a pink, it's a peach, it's a purple. Like, yeah we have those, like we get it. But the shadows? Those look stunning. I love the bright pops of color. I'm, I'm living for this. So I really want to pick up all of these shades. I think they all go live this Friday. I'm going to double check. But once they go live, I do want to pick up the shades right here. Because like by that self, like that looks like a nice palette. Especially for the spring. Especially for the summer. Like I love it. I cannot wait for that to come out. Okay, so I lied. The last thing we're going to talk about today are the new Hypnotic Lights by Milani Cosmetics. So I think these are supposed to be really similar to the Stila Shimmer and Glows and Glitter and Glows where it's a metallic eye topper. They have some stunning colors here. The Deep Royal Blue. I really want to try that one. And then the Bright White. And then there's a Light Pink. Those three, I really want to try those out. I don't know if these are going to be available in store anytime soon. I know my local drug stores are horrible with stocking new products. So I might not see them in stores locally for quite some time. But if I can pick these up, if I can either find them online or see them in my local stores, I will definitely be trying out those three shades. Thank you so much for watching this weekly wishlist or washout. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked and subscribe if you haven't already and hit the bell icon to be notified whenever I post a new video. Let me know what you thought of these products down below and then I'll see you in my next video. Bye!